Well, I have, I've been in a many abasements in my life, um, and I've seen a lot of weird stuff. Um, that might be the weirdest, um, because it's not like a Mickey Mouse. It's like real, like from a lab or something. Yeah. It's one of those things like you want to get the heads up that it's here. Uh, we're going to be, uh, I'm guessing, like relocating a customer. I've relocated this customer once before. Holy, holy shit, there's a lot going on down here. I think his pumps are busted. I need to let Kirk know about that. Okay. So, uh huh. This is where it used to be. Oh, right there. So that's where it used to be. And she wants to move it. Damn, dude, this guy almost needs this boat. There's so much water down here. <sighs> Lots of chainsaws. So she wants it over here somewhere. It's kind of cool. Oh, you know what? Look, she's got a receptacle here too. It used to be. But, uh... <sighs> oh, okay. Uh, my socks are wet. And here is her fiber. I know I didn't leave it dangling like that. This guy's got a whole landscape company down here. Okay, so I'm gonna just hang this up here. And, uh, huh. I don't know. Where's it go? Oh, here. I think there must be some slack here somewhere. Well, how'd that stretch the whole way? Outside, it's raining inside. Whoa, that pump's pumping. So his one sump is working, but his other ain't. How did it make it all the way up here? This don't make no sense. It's not physically long enough. Oh, hold on. Yeah, it's not physically long enough to stretch that far, is it? Oh, gosh, I guess maybe. I mean, I could put a just put a coupling on it, I guess. So yeah, I don't, I don't see really how it was possible to come that far. I will check the power levels on this, and so I'm guessing if it just got rerouted, then that's. Still, I don't think long enough. Okay, well, let's call Kirk and break some bad news to him. Cause you're gonna you're gonna need a boat down here eventually. Um, not a huge 
huge amount of progress here, but um, Kirk got us some shelves. Um, looks like we got a place to put all our keys now. And uh, we kind of stocked up on a bunch of different random things. I actually require one of these today. Um, and uh, we got all, all our splitters. Hold up. Let's see. What do you, I guess he moved all the splitters into one location. Yeah, so he took the took splitters from over here. This is just me. I kind of like started doing this. Um, but uh, Kirk took it to a whole nother level. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, my freaking finger. I don't cut it or something. Uh, yeah, he took it to a whole nother level. But you know what I don't like is that I got a hunch over. Um, he's got quite a bit going on here. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's the box from over at Plaza. This is Blaze Trees. Cool. That's kind of mental note. But yeah, we got our uh, Comscope B's over here. Um, these are all our pre-made cables. And what we do is we got them in all kinds of sizes. But huh, they don't say the size on them. That's sort of strange. Oh, 20 meter, 15 meter, 10 meter. Nice. Something's wrong with the floor right here. Um, down here we got uh, some FS. There's a wall mount enclosure, some rack mount enclosures. Uh, this is for a mux. This is for splitters. So these are two different types of items. But uh, what's this one? Uh, oh, cool. So this is that's a splice enclosure. This one is for DWDM, and this one's for splitters. So there's three completely different styles. They all look the same. Uh, some weatherproof cat six so like house boxes for apartments and then all our comscope a's it's pretty cool pretty pretty neat this is a weird uh, box splice thing we ordered to see what it looked like but we're gonna head on over to the best western and uh i'm gonna grab uh, one of these house boxes too um, I just call it a house box, but it's just like a straight up, it's easy splice container, uh, splice, uh, splice box. These are all splice trays for comm scopes, not 100% what that is. And then we got our flat drop adapters over here, and I got some optics. This optic should not be hidden down here like this. Optics shouldn't even probably be in this room. I'm going to just put this over here because this is a 1550 40 kilometer this is a spare for our uplink over in on the other end of town so this is uh, why i've got this thing set separated so i'm just gonna like i don't know i'll probably just keep that at my house where i keep all the optics and as a this is the type of splitter that goes into that shelf you can put three of these style splitters these are cool. Um, when you are building a pond and you have space and you have fiber, extra fibers, you can just kind of clean it up by splitting the pond in the data center. Cool. Well, let's get uh, we'll get at it. Well, we are uh, at a hotel here, and I'm in the conference room, I believe. Uh, what they've got here is actually pretty neat. It's a neat way. It's a very, very like long um, hotel, and then there's like a maintenance corridor that goes the entire length. It's pretty interesting, like way to maintain stuff. Um, but what we did was we ran all the way from. We came in the back of the building, and so we have quite a bit of a run on this. And uh, if you there. Well, demark a location. There's a Comcast modem here. I'm gonna try to log into if it's defaulted 
see what they got going on. Uh, they got a Ford, Fortinet, um, and it looks like there uh, is some. Uh, it looks like there is some uh, settings and whatnot, but we're charging up our <clears throat> splicer, and uh, this is going to be a G Pond uh, build. So we're going to go ahead and put in a uh, loco. That's just a glorified media converter for Gpon. And uh, I got my table set, and we're going to get rocking. Mm-hmm. Oops. Hmm. Oh, something like a little bubble there. I'm just gonna recleave it. Go ahead and recleave that. But uh, negative 33 and the fibers ain't together, so that's a good sign. It was, uh, wasn't fast enough, but um, yeah, buddy. So I should be able to get this guy on today. Uh, this is like a pretty big hotel, I guess. I don't know how many rooms it is, but. Um, there's a, we'll go look at it, but there's a point-to-point -point, uh, bridge in the back. Um, and because we ran fiber through there, I don't know. I'm going to mention to the guy, like, if he wants to, maybe someday we can help him out there. Obviously, for a, for a small fee. All right. So, went ahead. Uh, let me get this light on. There we go. in there it's a little bit of slack that's okay we can move it and could not get the power into this battery every slot was full um, and uh, went ahead I set my ONU here I gave these folks a call and they went ahead and they set me up on WAN 2 or they're in the process of doing it um, there's too many vendors, too much going on in this place. Um, these guys were really professional. I gave them a call, they picked up right away. And um, yeah, uh, the door control people, I mean, it's just a Walmart Netgear router for the door control system.